Hello students! Welcome to week 1 of your Practical Research 1 course. Bring out your supplementary learning material and start with the pretest. Your pretest is a 20-item multiple choice exam which can be found in pages 3 to 6 of your material. Choose the letter of what you think is the best answer. This activity tests what you already know about this course. Lesson 1 is about research experience and knowledge. You are expected to share your experiences and knowledge about research. The activity portion asks you to fill out the table with your personal understanding about research. For example, experience past. It requires reading books, articles, and journals. Knowledge present, mini thesis paper. Expectation future, come up with my own research paper. You may place a word or a phrase in filling in this table. Things become known to us because of our experiences and knowledge about it. Experience is a familiar and well-used source of knowledge. While knowledge is sought from other people who had experienced what the problem is or some other sources of expertise. In writing a research paper, try recalling your experiences and knowledge about a particular topic that you find interesting. Digging more knowledge will lead you to inquiry. Inquiry is defined as a seeking for truth, information, or knowledge. The information is sought through questioning. Individuals carry on the process of inquiry from birth until death. The process of inquiry begins with gathering information and data through applying the various human senses. When there are questions in mind, we look for answers. That is the reason why we do research. Research is a systematic investigation and study of materials and sources to establish facts and reach new conclusions. Although it may take place in different settings and may use different methods, scientific research is universally a systematic and objective search for reliable knowledge. As students, you may be asked to write a research paper for these reasons. Research teaches methods of discovery. Research teaches investigative skills. Research teaches critical thinking. Research teaches logic. Research teaches the basic ingredients of argument. It must be clear to you that this research that we are talking about is different from merely looking for answers on the web or printed materials. This research makes meaning out of available data and eventually comes up with a research paper. A research paper is a form of academic writing which should comply with one of the requirements of a particular course or subject. This is a research output that you will write after conducting an actual research which involves data collection, interpretation, and analysis. It is a scholarly undertaking in so far as you incorporate in your paper what experts or authorities say about the topic. This semester, we will be focusing on writing a qualitative research. What is a qualitative research? Qualitative research is an inquiry process of understanding a social or human problem based on building a complex, holistic picture formed with words, reporting detailed views of informants, and conducted in a natural setting. That is according to Creswell in 1994. It is intended to understand a particular situation, event, role, group, or interaction. Researchers are interested in understanding how things occur. In the next lesson, we will know more about qualitative research. In the meantime, try differentiating a research article from a formal essay based on your prior knowledge. Put a check if the following contents are present in a research article and formal essay. Then answer the guide question below. What parts are common in both forms of academic writing? Why? Part B of the abstraction requires you to search for an example of a journal article and research paper or thesis online, specifically qualitative research to provide the information asked. In looking for research papers, you may visit google.com and type in research papers about a particular topic of your choice. For example, accounting. 
and there you will find published research papers with the name of its author, year of publication, and the statement of the problem. In looking for journal articles, you may visit googlescholar.com, select journal below the search button, and type in the topic of your choice. For example, accounting, and there you will find scholarly articles about your topic. In the application portion, compare and contrast the contents of each research output you found to answer abstraction B. Below, write a reflective paragraph about what you learned from this lesson. Congratulations! That's all for Lesson 1. Thank you for watching!